When last we left our adventuring party, journeying up the mountain, escorting one Anako to try and get her back to her home of the elemental plane of air. You have fought many fey and undead creatures, some more horrifying than others, and there were a couple of close calls. Almost lost Maketi to a trap last time that almost sought to froze him solid. And then again, in a confrontation in the woods <laughs> with another yokai. But you and your party have, cons have persisted. And you have finally made it to the top of the mountain where you find not a temple, but some kind of library with fey runes etched on it. And upon entering, you discovered a woman seemingly in charge of this library. And she poses the question to you all. Who are you? But you don't know who I am? I'm Glint of the Flaming Pearl. You've heard of me. I have no idea who that is. I travel with you. I don't even know who that is. I do not either, my friend. So, it's a good question. Who are we? That's a great question. I wasn't really but, interested in philosophical. I was more interested in what your names were. Oh, I was going to say that we're bodyguards, but... I'm catchy. I'm flowers of the green fields. Uh, my name is Skinny Gus, uh, not to be confused with Fat Gus. Deity, at your service. Anako, of the Elemental Plane of Air. You are an interesting cast of characters. But anyway, my name is Fralia Dawnblaze. And this is my laboratory. I would ask why you are here and trespassing as well. The door was open, so we're not really trespassing. Uh, I opened it. We're here to get to the elemental plane of air. The elemental plane of air? Please we squirt this one home. Well, I'm afraid you've come to the wrong place. There is no elemental plane of air here. No, there was... There was supposed to be a temple or a portal here. Here. There may have been. But not anymore. So are you a friend or foe? <laughs> I think that depends on you. Me? Well, all of you. Oh. Well, don't, don't count me in with them just yet. Because, you know, they might be foe, but I'm definitely friend. You say that to all the ladies. Well, not all of them. There was some... Um, that last one we saw that was flying and stuff, I didn't think she was a friend. She was pretty obviously Bo. So I tried to kill her. Remember that? No. Do you mean <laughs> the spider lady? Yeah, uh, there was her too. The, the spider lady that you're like, you're kind of hot. Uh. Yeah, that well, one. Anyway, that's some. Um, I mean, it passes the back, so we're, 
I'm not really. I'm a friend. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna take a a, a few minutes and just kind of like rest my wings and perch right here, and start casting detect with magic as a ritual. Detect with magic. Detect magic as a ritual. All right. Sorry to bother you, lady. I I guess uh, my uh, minions and I will be leaving. So, uh, can you point us to the direction of the uh, portal to the air element airplane? Like I said, uh, there is get... no portal to the airplane, and I find it odd that you just found your way here. She snaps her fingers, and the doors close. Really? Well, I mean, like. We were just walking along the path, but the path came led here. I mean, we, we didn't deviate from any road. We were told it was up here. We went up here. We won. Sorry about it. I mean, gee, I'm not taking it all personally. I'm sorry. I live on a mountain top that is largely inaccessible to almost anyone. Why do you have a road going up to it? I mean, you didn't take this through, did you? The road I mean, doesn't and, go and anywhere. also, uh, better people. Uh, so, <clears throat> that's Glint uh, of the Flaming Pearl. I would like you to know that my ship um, did not ally with his ship in open combat. So you could say that I'm not with him. I'm a friend. I anyway, don't uh, think... Just kind of I don't think you are. Kind of okay, so... Deary just kind of goes, I am friend as long as you are a friend. Oh, that's... That's, um... Wow, that's that's a little closer to the truth. Um, but I mean, if you were like not friend, I'd probably give you a few chances to be friend. You know, like I wouldn't hold the first time against you if you. So like, Deary's kind of right, but you know, forgiveness friends forgive. So I'd forgive. One's going to slowly walk back and check the door, see if it's locked. It is leave. locked. What's yeah, more, yeah. the handles look like they're frozen over. Can I roll up here? Um, at the bottom of the stairs, would that be acceptable to you? Uh, if you can get past the barrier. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll try that. You bump I into roll. a barrier. Boom. Right there? Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Um, well, good job. I couldn't get past that barrier. You you guys, powerful. She locked this door. Oh, that's okay. She's just a friend. She's just protecting us from, you know, people outside. So, it's good. I'll put my ear up to the door. Do I hear anybody? You don't hear anyone. Glint. Yeah, I don't hear anybody out there. I will ask again. What? What brought you here? There is no way to the elemental plane of air here. Are you sure about that? I am certain. Insight. Sure. Well, that didn't help shit. She's pretty hard to read. You... You're, un you're <laughs> you unsure of the genuineness of her anger, but <laughs> but regardless of genuine or not, it does appear to be growing. So, go ahead. um... Go ahead. I was going to say, let me know it's been 11 minutes. Um, so, th we came up here because your um, your arch nemesis um tried to hurt us and we thought we would come here and ask for your blessing to fight him and maybe um, some hints <laughs> at their weak point or something. Fight who? Oh, I don't know. He's not much of a talker, you know. He's just kind of angry and 
fire even, and uh, just uh, force of nature. No pun. Well, I guess little pun intended. Uh huh. And what is his name? Oh yeah, I don't know his name. He didn't tell me his name. He just kind of tried to kill us. So, um, yeah. What is your passive insight, Gus? Passive what? insight is sixteen. Uh, there was an emphasis on his. Okay. Uh, you get the feeling that he that she doesn't have an arch enemy who is a guy. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'm so. Um, I didn't really get their name. I wouldn't even. I mean, I don't. I don't like to, you know, misgender people sometimes. So I just kind of switch between pronouns, or like, sometimes I fight with a blindfold on, and uh, sometimes I put ear wax in my ear. So. You are you know. clearly lying to me. Clearly, clearly. Well, that's um, that's harsh. Um, what? Uh, why do you think I'm lying to you? It is obvious that you do not know who would stand against me. Yeah, exactly. And That's currently, it only seems to be your lot. Oh. That's unfortunate. How, uh, how do you figure that we stand against you? You have come up my mountain, destroyed my guards. Oh. Drew, what, you have guards? We didn't destroy your guards. The yokai? Oh, yeah. Um, well, the spider I maybe? I yes. definitely did that, but um, so don't don't count them into this. But I did that, which shows I'm a better guard, I'm more powerful. So, um, would you accept me in your service? I climb off my wheelchair and bow down. It's so funny that your spiders almost killed me. So you want a job? Me? Um, I find that hard to believe. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about, to be honest. We were told that there was an air temple up here to get her home. That's all we're trying to do is get her home. Roll a persuasion check. If that's not good enough, please let me know. Are you proficient in persuasion? Nope, never mind. Mm -hmm. I, for I keep forgetting that's a thing. It is, in fact, a thing. Yeah, no, that's the thing that I gotta remember. Alright, well, I'll be over here if you need my services. Um, thanks. I think we do it not would come be best. here with Malin. Wait, what did you and say? You may we not do come not with come here with Malin. And yet you have killed three of my most valuable guards. Oh yeah, that was me. That was me. It, it was only in self-defense. They gave us no warning to turn around or anything. Attack because we as was well their duty. Well, then you can hardly blame us for defending ourselves. Your guards were terrible. That's not our fault. <laughs> if they give no warning to turn around and say why they're here, we also did not know that you exist. Yes, I don't even know who you are. None of us do. And I would like it to remain that way. And that's fine. I'll need you to roll initiative. Everybody? Yeah. No, it was just, just you. <laughs> <laughs> no, just you. You roll initiative. <laughs> I'm not good. We're kidding that first. <laughs> Crap. I'm, I'm gonna... Use my... No. I'm going to keep that. I was going to use my inspiration to roll higher, but I don't want to do that. One, yeah, all the armor. Yay. I knew it. I 
That's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. Alright, who still needs to get on the turn order? Uh, your bird lady. It's the same bird lady we met at the Wandering Weasel, right? It is. Mm. This bird lady rolled like shit. Who played the lightsaber? That was a text notification. <laughs> Alright. What about my sun sword? I got I... it when I killed Strahd. I need... Okay. Clint, Becchetti. There's Shadows. really no reason for this. Annika, Gus. I didn't happen to pull off my ritual, did I? You did not know. Yeah, I didn't think so. All the players oh. are in, right? Or, or wait, no, I'm missing Deary. That's what I'm missing. I didn't happen to woo her, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Alright, let's get this party started. I'd rather not. I didn't want to do this. I gotta stop right, letting guests who've been talking is pretty much. Animated armor are going to start rushing towards your position. I'm on top of the bookshelf. I don't know how high that is. Glint, you hear a lot of clanging going around. And the tension in the air seems to have shifted. Are we going to number these armor boys? Let me start giving them colors. Colors are good too. How tall is this bookshelf that I'm on? Uh, it's 10 feet tall. That's where I'm perched. Um, color short. Curses. Can it just make it zero? Uh, on hearing... Have, you don't have numbers. <laughs> I'll give it that. Snowflake. Upon hearing all the uh, armor moving around, I'm gonna lean over and just put my hand on Glenn, or put my hand on Skinny Gus, and I'm gonna be like, take care of these armors. I'll go talk to the lady. And I'm gonna cast haste. Uh, Gus? Gus. Oh, okay, cool. Gus, you feel the world around you begin to slow down as you are hasted. So Gus's legs actually work, huh? No. You've gotten off your wheelchair a couple of times now. Yeah, well, so I lift myself up <laughs> on my hands. Uh, right, but then you kneel and not collapse. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Continuity issues, come on. <laughs> in my mind. Wait, he regenerated them? No, I didn't. No, that's a joke. Oh, wait, yeah. I, I'll tell you what, just to make it fun, I'll channel my haste through my chaos crystal. Oh, I lost some music. So give me a wild magic. <laughs> channeling some wild magic through your haste. Yep. Just to make it fun. Uh, all the enemies turn into chicken. Definitely not drop two fireballs on yourself. And since you cast a... Or no, you're for foregoing your roll to guarantee it. I think. Is that how that works? It's been a week. Wow, 
shard. Got some Imperial animated armor down at the bottom right. <laughs> kill the snowflake, kill the snowflake. Well, in any case, you, uh, Glint, you start to float off the ground as Levitate is casted on you. Ah, uh, crap. It doesn't break concentration. I just remembered a thing about animated armor. A thing, you say? Yeah, I remembered a thing about animated armor. What's a white spell? Or a spell? Like a white spell? It says, when I use this option, when I'm holding the shard, it does not require, if it normally requires concentration, it doesn't require concentration. That means that, for instance, with this specific event, Levitate is cast on you. Levitate normally requires ah. concentration because it is ah. because it is a result of a wild magic surge. It does not require concentration. Therefore, it doesn't break your concentration. Okay, and, and you also have no way to end it. So I'm, what, a mile in the air? I'm on the ceiling? Not a mile. Uh, you're just kind of floating off the... Uh, you're weightless at the moment. Yeah, that also means you can't move without pushing yourself off something. Here's the weird question. Does he have... Hmm. Let me read this one more time. I think he still has control over the up and down. So you feel weightless, but you feel like you can control which way your weight goes. Vertically. <laughs> so I guess for my movement, I'll try to see if I can go up like 20 feet. You go up 20 feet. Woo! Exactly 20 feet. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Alright. Maketsi. armors look aggressive. Yeah, I know. There's not much I get to do about it, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that's they are, what I They are constructs. So, yeah, that's, they have no brains, so, yeah. I get it. Now just come down. Maybe? Can I not? There we go. Just come down here. I'm going to talk to her. Can you? Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> what? I moved that token. <laughs> what token? I got you over here. Oh, whatever. I'm coming down. It's even better. These are also 10 foot tall bookshelves in here, right? Uh, yes. They're just thinner. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Um... I'll actually uh, I'll just talk to her so you, you let us into wandering so can you and you you know we're not friends. can you talk to your boss for us please or whoever she is to you I will do what my boss tells me to do Yes, this, there's going to be a lot of death here. There's no reason for that. That's all. <laughs> he just kind of smiles. Do you do anything? Uh, hide. <laughs> Alright, well, stealth. Yeah, because I had to technically dash to get over there. <laughs> But I'm like, I want to hide in the bookshelf. But I'm like oh. two foot tall. I want to like get and nestle up between some books or something. Alright. <laughs> I, I guess I'm technically in like this square. Alright. 
this armor is going to run up to Skinny Gus, but that was a dash. <laughs> this one, however, does not need a dash. Poor Deary. Poor Deary. <laughs> it's always Deary. <laughs> Oof, that's got a hit. Uh, a 23 hits, oh, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it does miss the second attack, second deck only being a 10. Nope. I, th I think Max has a rinthophobia. <laughs> you take five bludgeoning damage, Deary, as it comes out and smacks. I was thinking he's, he's tried to kill Deary and almost succeeded. He's tried to kill McKetty twice and almost succeeded. Everyone else has not been unconscious, I don't think. You had a short rest, can you guess? <laughs> Flowers, you're invisible. I'm going to try and misty step to her location and immediately become visible and attack. Your path is blocked by the barrier. So misty step didn't work? It did not work. This is not wall like right of force. Here. Unfortunately, you cast a spell which will break your invisibility. Yep, that's fine. Just attack that guy. Alright, go ahead and swing. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, we do perfect crits, so that's going to be. That's what he did. <laughs> so that'll be 24 damage. And you are also green. Yep, yep. That, you, you swing down, you chop it in half. <laughs> Just one swing, shing, clean cut. All the pieces clatter to the floor. And all the other magical armors run away. Like, goddamn, you, like, perfect, perfect, Green. You rolled a D maximum damage. <laughs> I also rolled a one, so. Well, the one was on the crit die, but I don't count that. I count the first die. flowers? That is it. Alright, Anako is going to swing at this one. <laughs> and she... does that hit? Ah! She gets one shy of its AC. As it... as she swings her blade and it just very narrowly misses. Deary. Oh, joy. Hello, Deary. <laughs> so I'm shooting that thing to fuck you. Are you shooting it where you are right now? Yep. You'll have disadvantage. That's fine. I'm mad. All right. A 16 will not hit. Um. Because if I move, it's going to get an attack of opportunity, so I'm going to shoot that one. <laughs> or that one. <laughs> no, I'm shooting the one next to Aniko. That's correct, right? Orange one. Yes, actually, you know I can't tell. Oh. Yes, you can, shoot. you can shoot that one or that one. Or I'm technically, you can shoot this one. <laughs> this red one way over here. Nah, I'm gonna go for the one next to Aniko. Try to uh, save she, her. She, she is our job. All right, go ahead. Exactly. Fire away. And that one's a normal roll, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that one I hit. A Twenty-seven will absolutely hit. Uh, must be that. Did you use any charges? No. 
Not on that one. All right, so 11 points of damage. Because Colossus Slayer doesn't work until they hurt it. Correct. Correct. Yeah. All right. Um. Do I risk any movement? No. All right. But someone needs to fill this puzzle, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, skinny guess. You, you know I do psychic damage, right? Do you know what these guys don't have? Brain oh, ass. shit. <laughs> I will They're coming for shout <laughs> I will shout out Is this a test of my loyalty? This is number one Strike one And I will move It misses horribly it was not oh, expecting shit. you to be that fast. <laughs> just <laughs> pew. <laughs> Perfect. Um, the old man. Wow. That was movement. I'm going to. Um. Hold my. I'll hold my action for. If I am approached or attacked two more times, I attack the close. If you are approached? Yep, so I get another one of these things. Oh, if pink runs after him, he's gonna yeah. punch purple. <laughs> yeah. Or if orange kind of turns around and comes to him, he's gonna punch purple. Okay, okay. two more times, so yeah. Also, oh, they both gotta do it? Yeah, two people have to come to me for the punch me or try to. So if you're attacked? No. If I'm attacked one time, I won't do anything. If I'm attacked two times, or if I'm approached by pink and then hit by purple, I'll attack back. <laughs> Basically, two aggressive moves toward Gus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm giving her three chances, that's all. Okay. <laughs> This animated armor is going to move to try and avenge his brother. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> uh, this dead man has a heart and cares about that. Does does a 21 hit you, Flowers? Yes. All right. Second attack. Does a 19 hit you? No. All right. Then you're going to take nine points of bludgeoning damage. Who did send us here? How did we teleport here again? You guys walked through the portal. Yes, but who made the portal? You don't know. We, we don't know? There was a portal. You arrived at the location of Ka a Anako wanted to, you to take her to, and there was a portal blocking your path. You ventured through to see if there was a way through to your destination or a way to get rid of the portal. The Anako sent us here? Kind of? I mean, Anako's trying to get home, so it kind of makes sense. Well, this is not what we're looking for, so no. <laughs> we're doesn't... just dumb adventurers. I don't know that. This one's going to dash to here and wave its arms feebly at the floating floating glint. <laughs> Alright, this one will take its swings at Anako. Anako's AC is not that high. So she's going to take two attacks. Two meaty claws slam into Annika. This one also will kind of swing feebly at Glint. Probably his turn. 
Glad she rolled like shit. <laughs> she did roll shit pretty terribly. She will cast a spell on herself and disappear. I know that spell. It's a bit greater than the one you just cast. <laughs> oh, not this again. <laughs> this one spins out. Magic yeah, I should have done it last round. I really thought I was, thought about doing that, but I should sure. have. While I could still see her. A flanking position. That will be a twenty-one to hit. Hits. And a, yeah, a twenty-three. That one misses. Does it? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure you were casting shield or something. Tickets on? Who? Assistant bird lady. Front desk. Oh my god, I deleted her token. That's right, because I had to delete it to remake it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, she wasn't doing anything on her turn anyway. So anyway, you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage, Flower. Well, you skipped my turn. Thanks a lot. Did I? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I'm just loading here. <laughs> Why did it skip yeah. to you? Oh, it must have it shifted when I added it. Yep. Yeah, when you added a sizzle, when you added front desk girl. It okay. shifted it. Yep. Glint, what do you do? <laughs> Alright, so I'm floating. Uh, so bonus action, can I pass gas and move up here? Or can I pass gas and try to move towards the hotel? <laughs> you can move five feet. <laughs> five feet. Alright, so I guess I'll... Take your shoe off and throw it. Alright, and then I will take... <laughs> I will use a cantrip, because I want to hold my concentration for Gus. I will cast Firebolt at this bookshelf right there, hoping to ignite it. This one right next to you? No, up here. So uh, the one close where she was. Oh, this I'll way up here. Right okay. Here. Yeah. I couldn't see that. But I'm, I'm no one's it. near it, and I want to set it on fire. Right. Maybe she's going to be upset about Dalit, the books being burned. I'm going to be upset about the books burning, but that's okay. Roll Firebolt. Don't. He's already mad. All now right. There's... <laughs> now there's no getting out of this. Thanks. I don't read anyone. Bad to worse. I was still trying to talk out of this, but now it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they're, pu they're punching us. I don't think we're talking our way out of this. You'd be surprised. I frequently do. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe... Hey, now I just gave you the hard mode of talking out of it. No. All and right. I can't hurt the, the... These guys. The armor people. Awesome. All right. Is that all for you, Glint? Um, yeah. Because I want to hold my spell, so... This one's going to move its 30 feet. It's going to dash. <laughs> Something's going to start happening, Glint. <laughs> uh, McKetty. I'll Get him, small boy. Dash up over here. 
grab my dagger out of my bag, which is on Gus's chair. And I guess I'll slap. <laughs> no, I'm going to go back in here and hide in this shell. Okay. Because I, I, da I dash to get up there so I can't attack. Well, you, can I'll just cunning, you can cunning action dash. dash. Oh, yeah, I could do that, but then I won't be able to hide. True. So, yeah, I'm going to go over here and hide. <laughs> and then I'll come out and stab him and hide again. <laughs> All right, roll your hide. Or most likely I'll throw it and then come out and grab it and then go hide again. I, I like the sneaky stab. That, that's great. Oh, crap. Oh. I rolled two fours. Mm, something sees you. Holy shit. Ain't no shit. Fortunately, I'm still in the air somewhat. I'm on the second, third shelf. Third shelf. Right. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the third shelf. You can't see me. I'm a book. So, Glint, here's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to come over here and pick up one of its friends. Okay, improvised weapon. No, they're going to start building a ladder. Okay. Oh, I've got hell. a plan. Yeah. Alright, this one, on the other hand, is going to, uh, uh, seeing this quick, uh, wheelchair roll up on him is going to take a swing at him. Uh, does a 22 hit you, guess? 22 currently hits. Alright, and second attack is a 21 to hit. Uh, that will also hit. Alright, guess you are going to take... Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. I yell out, Two! Crache is going to vanish. Flowers! I'm gonna do the one thing I'm good at. The one in blue. A 15 will miss. You swing down with your sword, but it is able to deflect it with its arm. Anything else? I'm gonna shove right away. Alright. Uh, Go ahead and roll your athletics. <laughs> wow. <laughs> eh, it's better than what I rolled. <laughs> hey! <laughs> shove it away. going to attempt another swing and that one will absolutely connect but a horrible damage roll but she slices into the beast and it looks very very damaged Deary Here he is not home right now. Please leave a message. Return to fight. You get available. Call us back when you're No, I'm gonna go for the one by Aniko again because this one next to me is not gonna do shit. All right, go ahead and roll. Where, well, before I do that, where was she when she disappeared? Uh, she was at the top of the stairs. Behind a portal, or a wall, a force field. That's what I said. Gotcha. Okay. Anti-magic force field. 
you do recall the runes that specifically were for teleportation. Wait, what? I tried to misty step, it didn't work. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. This is for the one next to Annika? Mm -hmm. Alright. You fire your bow and are able to destroy the beast. Yeah, I did it. Um, since I didn't see where she went, I can't hunt her mark yet. Um... I do use movement to go uh, on the other side of this thing. All right. I don't. I'm not moving out of range, so it doesn't get an attack of opportunity or anything. Flank. That is correct. Yeah. That's not flank. Continue... That's flank. True enough. I didn't think <laughs> of that. Shit. <laughs> Can I still do that? Yeah, sure. You have plenty of movement. Okay. Yeah, that now. Yeah, blank. Mm. Fuck you. Fancy bird feet dancing around this animated <laughs> armor. We'll see Hell if yeah. it pays off. Uh, the ladder continues to grow. It's about 15 feet high. Where is that ladder? Is that down at the bottom? That, they're, yeah, trying to go, they're trying to go they're for trying to go. Yeah. Good thing you pushed red away, because now this one doesn't have its flanking bonus. Which means it's going to miss with a 19. Yay. And a 14. Yep. Who, me? Okay. Uh, flowers. Ah. All right. Gus. Okay. Uh, two strikes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I... Away. Really? Right. Okay. Sorry. Does he make an opportunity attack? <laughs> he does. Okay. He misses. Okay. Um, I will shout out Gray, and I'll turn directly around. Okay. <laughs> and I will attack. All right. You have a plus two to all your attack rolls because of flanking. A 17 nope. will miss. I will add one key point. To make it a 19? 19. Yep. A 19 will hit. Okay. I will attack him again. Alright. That'll hit. Um, okay, so I'll roll damage for those two real quick. Alright, roll your damage. Good damage. It is starting to look rough. I will use my hasted action to attack again. Alright, go ahead. A, set, a nine will miss. I will use my Tides of Chaos to have him reroll that. Alright, go ahead and reroll. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Four, let's see. <laughs> great. It's damage, though. You're whittling this thing down. You think you're getting close to destroying it. Um, I will key point flurry of blows. All right. Where are you in? Uh, uh, a, a nine will miss again. Okay. And I can help with that. That's okay. Got one last time. One last time. A twenty will hit. 
Okay, great. Four. He looks like he's one hit away. That's too bad. Um, I know. I'll say... <laughs> the one you missed. Him. <laughs> and I will roll over. Oh, no, don't do that. Right don't do that. Don't do it? Don't do that. You call me off? Yeah, I would call you off. As you roll up, okay. you see a floating glint shaking his head like, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I will stop halfway between. There we go. That's the end of my turn. All right. Fralia's turn. Spell, and something happens. <laughs> the ladder completes. Oh no! And it will attempt to swing at you. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it, it, it won't roll higher than eleven. Uh, ha, ha, seven misses. Oh really? <laughs> but a natural, seven. but a natural twenty. We'll still miss because I I'm immune to all crits. Yeah, but is your, is your AC higher than 20? No, it's 11. Okay, so it still hits, it's just not but, a crit. But I go to 11. 11 is one more. You take 14 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need a concentration check. Uh, the concentration saving throw, right? Yep. Alright, you save. But there is now this leaning tower of animated armor trying, looking menacingly at you. Yep. But it hit me, so now uh, do I move back five more feet? No. <laughs> oh, it should. <laughs> it punched uh, me. Technically, you shouldn't move at all. <laughs> I see that's outside force, but okay. <laughs> Dash. I've also never magically levitated before either, so I don't know the rule. <laughs> I don't know how that works in real life. Glint, you are face to face with the tower. All right, I will use my only fourth level spell slot to cast Fireball on myself. Oh, well then. I might want to move that just a little bit down. I told him not to move it. Yeah, I'll move it a little. Let's go ahead and hit the one that the. the if the, I the, might, the if round. I might make a suggestion, you could Try levitate. You could levitate yourself up five more feet and be out of range of your own fireball, while still hitting all of them. Okay. If I can do that, I thought it was back. No, you. It's it's a maximum of twenty feet per round. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll move up another ten feet and do it. All right, you blast down this fireball. They're all going to make a deck save. Yep. Which I can mass roll that. All right, uh, let's see. First one saves, second one doesn't, second one doesn't, next one doesn't, next one doesn't. One of them saves, <laughs> so one of them gets to live. <laughs> That's the one on the top that saves, so. Yes, we fall on 20 feet. <laughs> so, he's so, gonna he, fall. so he falls 20 feet <laughs> and takes 2d6 bludgeoning damage. And dies anyway. <laughs> Hold on. I'm doing the math. Because I, I think he's actually somehow good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> but you absolutely devastate the rest of them. They're gone. <laughs> and this one has fallen to the ground. Oh, wait. I'm going to roll my 20. Oh, and I'm giving you back, so you're getting a surge. Okay. Because you're tied to chaos. Alright, so I'll get that back. Oh, my God. Fireball himself. Nope. 
Something out. So something happens. <laughs> okay. I I need to keep a mental note of that. I'm I'm gonna put this token on you. Don't worry about that. The biohazard token? Yeah, no worries. No worries. Nope. Uh, everybody move away from him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this will be interesting. Quarantine. Quarantine. <laughs> All right. Red's going to pick himself back up and come back at you, Flowers. Uh, an 18 will miss. And a natural one will miss. Good, because they beat me up good last time. beat you up good last time. McKenzie. Uh... I'll go ahead and throw my dagger at this guy. All right, you throw your dagger. Yep. I did not have that prepared. I apologize for the second. It's hey, did my fire spread? And did anything set on fire? I he... uh, You have advantage. You did successfully me. hide from this one. Oh, okay. They have terrible <laughs> perception. It's awful. <laughs> they really have awful perception. So the yeah, 25. 25 will hit. Deary, as this, this. <laughs> as this automaton is about to swing down on you again, a dagger pierces its chest, and it falls to the ground, lifeless. I'll swing by, pick up my dagger, uh, and tell Deary, uh, go get the rest of them, and I'm going to come over here. Is there anything like a blanket or something? To, that I can start putting this fire out with. Mm, uh, I'd say roll an investigation check. You can throw those other books at it. No, that's the opposite of what I want to accomplish. <laughs> hey, grab some of Skinny Gus's uh, drink. Grab his yeah. flask. I mean, I do have my water skin, but at this point, I don't think that's enough anymore. It's too long to get over here. What would be in a library that could help you with a fire? It's only uh, been 12 seconds. Yeah, but it's also on books on a wooden shelf. It's also <laughs> dusty. Oh no, dust would help. Yeah, it's, it's also <laughs> dusty. <laughs> out of, out of it's like, no, dust thing. would help. Never mind. It also makes it smell funny. But that's fine. <laughs> um. Is there like an area rug or something? I'll, I'll say this. With an investigation check of 21, you remember that inside Deary's bag of holding is a bucket of water. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll fly back over here. That's about yeah. as good, that's as good as it can get. <laughs> Give me your water. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, as a note, it takes an action to get something out of a bag of holding. Yeah, that's right. Use your action to kill that automaton. I did. Alright. I will stay next to the area then. Alright. <laughs> oh, okay. Just just hand over the bag. It is going to turn. Because that's a bonus. That's a free action. I think. Is this handing you the bag as a free action? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give you the bag. You can do so on your turn. Yeah, on your turn, give me the bag and then go do whatever you're doing. Okay. Well, I was hoping to hide from her so that she wouldn't give the order, but yeah, she knows message. Uh, so I also did not hide again because I was done. I am sorry about this. I really did like you. You don't have to do this, but it's there's no reason. I'm I was going to help put out the fire. <laughs> I'm afraid I missed. You really don't. Uh, I think a soft 20 is going to hit you. Yes. And another soft 20? No, that one didn't. That's weird. My AC changed in between the two rolls. It's weird. That is weird. Uh, <laughs> you are going to take... Oof. As he swings his twin swords into you, you are going to take 23 points of damage. 
Holy shit. Are you Yay. are you resistant to psychic damage? Nope. All right. I just deal psychic damage. <laughs> and then he will vanish. Oh, that's annoying. Flowers. I will bonus action, thunderous might, and then green fun leg. And 18 is the number you needed. So that connects. Dealing 28. 28 points of damage. Oof, you swing into it and you deal a hefty amount of damage, but it is still I mean, staying. I think? 13 plus 10 plus 6? That is 29. The, the 6 doesn't go to it, it goes to it adjacent. Well, you also rolled a 6 on the D8 that applies to it. Yeah. Also, a DC 16 strength save. Strength saving throw for these guys. You got this, right? Failed it by one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pushed away nine feet. Pushed away nine feet. Nine? Ten. Ten. The blue one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 29, sorry. So, so, yeah. It, so it pulls. So it smacks so it. over the bookshelf. Yeah. Which deals six <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage and kills it. <laughs> It smacks in the bush bookshelf and scatters across the pages. The one behind me as well needs to make the save. Oh, it also needs to make the save? Nope, never mind. I thought it was an AoE. But well, passed if he did. Me too. Oh, I'll shove him anywhere. I know I use my bonus action. I'm bonus done. action for Thunder Smite. Hey, you, you, you used it to kill one. Anako is going to run over and help you out. Giving her a flanking bonus, so she... Yep, she hits. And is able to slice up a large gash into it. It already looks weary on its feet. Deary! Okay, so this guy here is still alive, right? Correct, but he's... I, he's prone. <laughs> because he fell off of a, of a very tall ladder. Which would give you disadvantage to try and shoot him. Right. Where is the rest of the ladder? Uh, Dead. Evaporated. <laughs> Melted. It's okay, slag. So, <laughs> so it's, this is slow. <laughs> There's a pile of slag right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's this one and two invisible chips. Well, one's, I guess, not a chip. I thought it was. Two invisible people. You are unsure as the gender of the bird. No, you keep so saying I'm he. Gonna so, I'm gonna give uh, Maketi my bag, and then go here. On is there on like room on top of the bookshelf for me to get up here? Yeah. Yeah. You're a bird. You can fly up there. Okay. I didn't know if there was like room between like the shelf and the ceiling. I, I was already up there. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going up there, and I'm going to shoot you. All right, fire away. Well, damn. 14 will miss, but you have another shot. Also, yep. I'll, rem I'll remind Glint that he has Tides of Chaos again. So he can use it again, if he so wishes. Well, I missed again. I'm not I will, I'll use my Tides of Chaos. <laughs> Right. All right, one more time. This time with feeling. <laughs> with gusto. Come on. I can do this. Can you? <laughs> I can. We're all waiting. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> We're waiting. I'm good there. <laughs> well, we're all waiting. Do it. 
I'm waiting. Did you push the button and it's not coming, or? Okay, now we got it. Did you get it away from it that yeah, fast? Yeah, 20 will hit. <laughs> Roll your damage. But this will there probably is... do it. There is some damage. Oh yeah, that is enough to destroy this one as well. Cutting through them. Alright, that's your two shots, Deary. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna stay where I am. Do I have a general idea of where Invisible Bitch went? Uh, which one? The, the, the big bad. Big bad? Last time you saw them was at the top of the stairs. Behind the force field. <laughs> okay, so that's still the same thing. Okay. Then I'm done. Alright, skinny guess. Okay, I will roll over and say, Wow, oh, boy, that was great. As I swing by and attack this guy. Alright, do so with advantage. Hits. Okay. Um, Alright, six points of damage. You smack into it and it's one more blow. A 17 will miss. I, I will use a key point. <laughs> no, wait, is he. He's not Um. I don't use a key point. I will instead use my bonus action to hit him. Alright, so, come on. <laughs> hit me. You can do it! And 18 will hit. <laughs> Roll your damage. Uh, Roll your how, do you damage. Just, how do you miss somebody laying on the ground? I know it. No. Well, you're in a wheelchair. Reach it down is probably all true. Yeah. Six points of damage is the amount, really of, health, wheelchair wheelchair is the amount of health it had left. Really? Yep. Okay. Great. And uh, it too falls silent. All of you notice the force field drop. As the magical energy fades. Red Booger's dead? Yep. Yeah, Red One's dead. He's at the next. I forgot to give him an X. <laughs> but yes, he's dead too. Oh, I was gonna like scratch up this rune and spread some paint on it or something, but I guess I don't need to. So I use the rest of my movement. It's one. I have my pasted. Ten feet? Is that right? No, it's double. No, it's, it's double. double. Yeah. You have double speed while you're haste. You might be faster than me. There, and that <laughs> was the bonus action, my action, the movement there. And I will take my dash action, my dash haste action. Up the stairs. Oh, but Gus, we are friends, aren't we? And she is going to cast a spell. Yep. Yikes, yeah, that's gonna be the spell. That's... Yeah, that's gonna be the spell, right? Thing. 
I'd say a lightsaber is about that five is, foot range. That is, it's it's not five foot. It's a lot more than. Hold on, I need to measure. No, your lightsaber is five foot range. I need to measure this out really quick. Yeah, you said you said what's the range on this thing, and then lightsaber. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh fuck! That's gonna hit all of you. Nuh-uh. Uh. -uh. uh Yaha. Nope. How about I? How about no? She cast freezing sphere. But I don't want that. But she does. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need everyone to make a Constitution saving throw. Flower saves. But, but saves. I don't want that. Nope. Save. I do not save. I'm dead again. Kenti does not save. Theory save? Yeah. McKetty and Gus fail. <laughs> so. I, I, th I think it's everybody but. It was a 60 foot radius, right? It is a 65 foot radius. Yeah, so if she centers it on Deary, it gets all of those. Do the stairs end, or could I have gone a higher on the stairs? Uh, you said you only had 30 feet left, right? No, oh, like from where I am at the moment. Oh, from where you are at the moment? Yeah. Would you have gone I mean, any further if you could? Yeah, I think I said I don't I don't know how far up I can go. So, if you don't, I mean, does the stairs end right here? But I'm fine with taking whatever you can. I'll let you. I'll, up there, I'll, I'll let you decide if if you want to continue down that path. I do. I would have continued down the path as as far as I could have. All right. Go another thirty feet. So that's that's like put a, you out of range of the. Yeah. Is this like a platform? Is that what I'm on, basically? Yeah. It's a. Pla it looks like an observation platform that goes around this. Um, this spinning device. Okay. Got it. But yeah, now she would have to choose between Glint and Gus. And Glint set her bookshelf on fire, so it's going to be Glint. Yeah, that's no kidding. We're Come friends. on! So. so. All the fires go out. All the fires do go out. <laughs> oh, man! Well, I mean, that's what I was trying to do. I just wouldn't want to die doing it. All right, Maketi, you take yep. 35 points of cold damage. I am not dead. The rest of you take half. What? Yeah. Half of 35? Cold never bothered me. Yeah, I'm resistant to cold, so I take no, half really. of that. You take half of that? Yes. Yeah. So half 17. So Half of 17. 17. Half of 17 is 8. So Glint takes 8. Everyone else takes 17. I took 35. I've got 4 hit points. All you need is 1. Alright. Glint, I need another constitution saving throw. Alright. Oh, for haste. Alright, you maintain concentration. That was her turn. Which will make it Glint's turn. Can't move, and I don't see anybody, so... Wow. Am I still levitated? Should I be worried that that's it, thing? Uh, no, your levitate doesn't end. Uh, I do have a question, though. Does Glint say anything? Say anything to... What? I don't know, does it say anything? I mean... Do we have any targets? Sorry, I set your book on fire. <laughs> no, I wouldn't apologize for that. You, 
Ooh. Did you say, do we have any targets? Yeah. Cool, the witch spell goes off. The you... what spell? <laughs> I rolled a d100. Wait. It was it was a 100, and I had made a rule where on the first time you roll a 100 on the wild magic search, you get the, the next thing you say becomes true. Which immediately say? dispels their invisibility. Okay, I thought it was going to make more targets. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a target now. You have two targets. And, and I have a target now. I yeah. can't move, and I... You can, move up and, you can move up and down 20 feet. Yeah. And if you I can go, get back to the how, ground, you will How are. high up is this field? Uh, it's pretty high up, but you're kind of closing in. I'm going to say 60 feet. Okay, it's 60 feet total. Yeah, All right, so I'll move 40... up another 20. I'm trying to. Get, I'm going to try right. to grab a hold of the ceiling. You have bumped so into I'll the ceiling. So I'll go up another 20, and then I will cast uh, level two chaos bolt at the. That range is 240 feet, so I can hit the uh, book lady. Yes, you can. I'm going to give you back your Tides of Chaos. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you roll this next roll. Roll me 5d6. 5d6? Yep. Write down 19 days in your, in your notes somewhere. And every day of day passes, knock one down. Okay. Which I which won't happen, but yeah. Okay. Um, and then I guess I'll go ahead and do use two of my sorcery points. Oh, I should ask. Um, oh, you rolled doubles, so what does doubles do on Chaos Bolt? It does something. I think it, I think it lashes out to another target in 30 feet. He just said, man, I wish these people were dead already. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish we I wish we just win this fight already. <laughs> so I'll use my two store for points to cast that again. Uh you can't I'll cast ahead. you can't cast another leveled uh, spell. Alright, well then I'll just do firebolt. That's two hundred and forty feet. It's lucky he didn't uh make a comment about everybody not knowing him. <laughs> <laughs> We could have all gotten intimately familiar with Glenn. <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 one of those things where it's just like it's way better if no one knows that yeah. you can cast Wish. No, I agree. Because that's absolutely I agree. Hilarious. Yeah. All right, your your bolt of acid and bolt of fire impact her, and she looks damaged. your movement that will conclude your turn you expire Jesus. and you do have tides of chaos back so yeah, that's good oh uh, you do need to roll a d20 though for the normal alright but once oh that's two <laughs> thirds, right not quite Maketi yeah I was trying to read something for it I should have said I wish we could long rest. I want to make sure it's not a willing. What are you trying to do? Really? Okay, yeah. It does not have to be willing. Cool. I'm going to drop the psychic link I currently have. I'm going to 
I'm going to fly to right here if I can see both of them. Correct. I'm going to open up a psychic link with both of them as, and keep one open with her, our, uh, our, our Rihanna. This lady. <laughs> Annika. Amica. Annika. Amica. For seven hours. <laughs> All right. Is there yep. anything you'd like to psychically tell her? Absolutely. As soon as I go over here and hide. <laughs> Roll your hiding check. My God. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just gonna tell both of them. Uh, I don't. How, I gotta do this one at a time. So how many? Like, how long can I speak? Because I assume I can do it like while I'm flying over here. That's a also. A brief message to one of them. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, talk to her. It's like we really don't have to do this. There's no reason for this. Best target to her. Yeah, that's that's to the boss lady. All right. You are intruders. Infringing on my work. I will not suffer this. Give us a chance to leave, but okay. She say that out loud? No. She doesn't means, have to. That means telepathic. <laughs> I was yeah. just checking. She is smart but paranoid. <laughs> yeah. Bad combination. Not, not not smart enough to give us a chance to leave. Well, she's smart enough, she's just more paranoid than that. <laughs> yeah. Crusade's turn. Uh, he's going to uh, snap his fingers, try to vanish, and it's not going to work. <laughs> well, that's, that is rather annoying. So I suppose we'll have to do a different tactic. And he is going to instead teleport to here. Probably sees me. Hello, little bird. Yeah. Well, that could be either one of us, but... <laughs> and he has just enough movement. Fuck. Like I, I said... really don't gotta do this. I am 20 feet up, but... Or 15, because I'm on the third bookshelf. Yeah, so is he. Uh, that's right, also bird. Also bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to do this while she still breathes. If it uh, hits, I'm dead. Uh, it hits. <laughs> Does it do more than four? His bonus is four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maketi is dead. Alright. Oh. Clap. I was going to drink my potion. That's what I was going to do. But I did actually did not hit. I didn't have a bonus. Never mind. Right. Flowers. Also, it's with Gus. <laughs> Hexblade curse. On her? On her. She is hey, Gus, you got a potion cursed. if you need it. <laughs> it's on the back of your wheelchair. <laughs> I apparently don't need it. Oh yeah, that hits. Are you green flame blading as well? I meant to, but I pressed the wrong button. That's okay, just roll a d8. Alright. Doing a nice meaty 18 points of damage. Slashing into her. Oh, what kind of damage is the Hexblade Curse? Is it just extra damage, or is it necrotic damage? It says three bonus to damage. Alright, then it's bonus to damage. Alright, action, bonus action. Anako is going to... 
I'll have her roll a perception check for McKinney. Oh, what do you think? See me? She sees you. Hey. She is going to... What's her speed again? Ah, wow. This is pretty fast. Going to dash... She has an airhead. Going to dash up to Uncreche and... More or less put, him, put herself in a challenge position. Deary. Let's see. Hmm. You got both targets available. So I'm having with me being colorblind, I can't. It's hard for me to see on the text, and you help me with. This is player. boss lady. Thank you. This is this is other front. This is front desk bird lady. That one. I think we like her. She's just a little too subordinate. <laughs> okay. Anyone else for me to shoot at? Nope. Okay, then I'm shooting at boss lady. All right, fire away. That hit? Yeah, an 18 will hit. And I'm using charges on that. How far away are you? Oh, perfect. Uh, can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Mm, yeah. I can do that. You pass, so you're going to take half. Of? Uh, I'm sort of rebuke. Of a rebuke of the hellish variety. Uh, I, I don't know if it was as simple as hellish rebuke, or it's going to be radiant rebuke. Whatever kind of rebuke. I am rebuke. <laughs> I was about to say, she's also in the air, but she's also elevated from stairs, so. <laughs> and she's now Hunter's Mark, so. So. Lucky. Oh, she is Hunter's Mark now. 29 damage reduced yeah. to 14. Oh, uh, dear, he's down. Never mind. Oh, nothing. I told you you got a rentophobia. <laughs> <laughs> and the birds are down again. <laughs> All right, dear, he's down. Gus. Deary's down. Uh, do I see her? Yes. I don't know if this... Okay. Um, in that case... I will say yeah. you are a monk. Yeah. And is there clear ground beneath this spear? Uh, it's kind of perilous. There's a lot of spinning things on there. But I would say that with a successful acrobatics check, you could cut across. Okay, great. In my um, slow fall, etc. Yeah. Um, and first thing I need to know is can good roll a uh, concentration check so I know if I'm still wasted because it was after the frozen spear he did he did he, he did. passed oh, he I rolled a 22 lost. yeah he succeeded oh he succeeded okay great cool then I will attempt to jump across roll an acrobatics check for me okay. acrobatics do some cool monk shit Pretty low. 15 is the number I wanted. Okay. Great. You are able to kind of kickflip with your hands 
onto yeah. the Ori and are able to grind your wheelchair down to where she is. Wonderful. As I leap and off, Gary didn't see it. <laughs> as I leap <laughs> off, I attack Frank behind. All right, go ahead. Hopefully with left. Plus two, is that right? Yes. Um, A 13 will miss. I... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use a key point to raise it to 15. To raise it to 15. Hits. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so I'll roll damage for that one. Dealing five points of damage. Okay. Key point stunning strike. Con save. Alright. Oh, it doesn't matter what the DC was. So, oh, okay. so she is she has advantage on that. The first roll was a one. Oh. The, the second roll was a two. Oh. <laughs> she is stunned. Excellent. As I seize the key within her body, I attack again. With advantage. Hey, Flowers. This reminds me of that time we were... Um, no, I don't think we've really actually done anything together. We've been fighting our subject. A 23 will hit. A 12 will miss. Well, a 14 will miss. A soft 20 will hit. So that's my first attack. Second attack. And then you flurried, right? And then I flurried. From haste. Haste action, yeah. Um, Unless you don't want to flurry instead, want to use one of those as your haste. So, um, as I look at flowers, do I get any indication of some sort of strategy I should pursue? Flowers. Give me cool hand signals. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A 16 will hit. So go ahead and give me three, three, three damage rolls. Magnus, Magnus, Magnus. You're able to skip her turn. Glint. Psychic and lightning. Uh, lightning. All right. Uh, give me a d20 roll. All right. This bolt of lightning shoots across the room and impacts her. Alright, anything 
else, Quinn? Uh, yeah, I'll move up 10 feet. I want to grab a hold of the raft. All right. You grab hold. That's it. McKetty, give me a death saving throw. Oh, uh, what? Eep. <laughs> Eep, indeed. <laughs> Uncrechet's turn. Uncrechet is going to look at Anako and just be like, I have better things to do. Bye-bye. And he is going to teleport to here. I'm afraid I can't have you hurting my mistress like this. And we'll roll some attacks on you, Gus. Okay. I just, want, I just want to point out, this is the second death throw in a roll where I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. A 22 to hit. points of psychic, and the rest is slashing, or piercing, I should say. Got it. You are pretty hardy. Thanks. I make a great bodyguard. All right. Flowers. You have advantage. She is stunned. Roll me one more time. A soft 20 will absolutely hit. Alright, so that's... Sixteen points of damage. Nineteen. Nineteen? Hexblade's Curse. I was counting your first damage roll. Yeah. All right, slicing into her. She is looking rough. Uh, Anika once, once again tried to, to stabilize poor McKenny. We'll get back to that. Deary, make a death saving throw. <laughs> All right, that is one pass. Gus, <laughs> better night it. Oh, it is. Yeah, there's only there's, there's not a lot of defense anymore. Yeah. Running low on people to fight and people <laughs> to fight with. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, I will continue attacking this main girl. Big boss. Big boss. Attacking this big boss lady. All right. And she's still stunned until the end of my turn. That is correct. Wow. A 
14 wounds. Right. Um, How you doing on key points, guys? Still have two left in this. He already yeah, had advantage your tides of chaos wouldn't work. Ah. Uh, okay. Besides, we all know Flowers wants this kill too. <laughs> <laughs> a 21 will hit. I, I just want to talk to her. <laughs> that's Yeah, that's all I've been trying to do, and then I die. <laughs> well, knocked unconscious, whatever. Alright, six more bludgeoning damage. Looking. Pretty rough. Um, here is my pasted You still have advantage. Oh, I still have advantage. It's still the end of your turn. Looks good. 26 will hit, roll damage. Nice! At least someone's able to kill her. Alright. She's still up. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um. I guess I. Bonus action. Well. Well, you have advantage, so roll again, see if you get that strong. Alright, 19 land. Still standing. Um. If she is. stunned. Mm hmm. Does she get to make the save throw again? She does get to make the save throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will use Stunning Strike. Alright. Natural 20. Um, in that case, that's the end of my turn. Alright. And the start of her turn. She is really, really rough. What has she got? <laughs> <laughs> How can she get herself out of this situation? Flowers to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. The DC was 17. <laughs> okay. And you both blink out of existence. <laughs> Uh, well, since you were banished together, you both kind of are in this uh, box, this empty room, and just kind of see kind of small snowflakes kind of falling. Oh, are we dead? I don't think so. Deal with them, Crusade. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna move back here. You're so fucking close, Gus. <laughs> but I've used my key point to do a blurry thing. Yeah. Glint. Alright, so I will 
cast uh, Chaos Bolt on her again. All right. <laughs> because that's about all I have. You do not have uh, advantage. I will um, use my crystal. All right. Uh, tied to Chaos. <laughs> so as you go to cast this energy, I need you to roll me two d ten. Oh no! As the as the magic starts to backfire onto you, and you regain seven eight HP. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you send that my way? <laughs> really? Mine too. McKinney, it does say please. I just realized that Glint's the other one left standing. No, fuck that. <laughs> I'm inspiring myself. God. Fuck that. <laughs> Inspiration. Go ahead. That's not any better. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this how it ends? Is this it? All right. You know, you know how mad Joe's gonna be if you kill me for real. I bet. I bet he was upset be. that you got me to death saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my fault he doesn't go hard enough. All right. Uh, <laughs> and Creche is going to keep following orders and it's going to teleport next to you, Glint, up there in the rafters. Okay. You know, you've been really annoying. <laughs> and he's going to take his swings at you. All right. Uh, does a 16 hit? Yeah, if it's higher than 11, it hits. That, that's a 28, so that's it. <laughs> Take Stop 20, rolling. You take 20 points of damage. Okay. And I need a concentration throw. For what? For concentration on haste. Actually, uh, he went to a different plane. Is that still up anyway? It's still up. There is. It says no limitations about it ending when you go to a different plane, so he maintains concentration. Fair enough. All right. It's his turn. Uh, flowers, you're in a harmless semi-plane. Do you wish to do anything inside this harmless enemy plane? Not much I can do. Got any potions? Yeah, but I'm saving it. Alright. So there's also a potion in Gus's. Or in my bag in Gus's chair. <laughs> Alright. Anako's Anako's gonna try and stabilize McKinney again. You have my bag that has mine in it. McKetty. Yes. You're at 1 HP. I'm at 1 HP? You're at 1 HP. That's all I need. Let's She's go. go. She rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Deary, you're on top of a bookshelf. Dying. Please roll a death save. Alright, one success, one failure. Yep. Gus, you are in a harmless demiplane. What do you do? Look around. Um, <laughs> I look around. The snowfall is quite I pretty. Uh, I speak in Git. And I say, Monk Brothers. Okay, you hear me? Oh. Only silence. I do nothing else. I look at flowers and shrug. Alright. Feralia. From where she is, I don't think she knows that I'm awake yet. She does not, but she's still mostly annoyed with Glint. <laughs> so she's going to point her finger at Glint, just like, I have had enough of you, and Icy Blast will start... Come up. That's a natural 20. Will shoot out of her finger. Yeah, those are all going to hit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to roll some damage. Uh, we're going to see what happens. 
Okay, that's pretty bad on the damage. Shit, you're actually the perfect person. 20 points of cold damage, Glint. <laughs> Cut that in half to 10? Cut it in half to 10. All right. But I still need a con save. Nice. You are rocking these con saves. <laughs> no, no lethargic guts. Just continue going back there. Glint. Um, I'm gonna use. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out and grab a hold, um, and use my my uh, reach to blaze, burning hands on uh, the bird in front of me. All right, you cast burning hands on the bird. <laughs> the bird. Uh... I like the bird. The bird luckily had advantage. Because <laughs> that, first advantage. Roll, that first roll was a natural one. Why did he have advantage? Because he's fey. Oh. So a, a, very, a very typical trait of fey is having advantage against magic. Oh. Yeah, I don't have that. I'm fey. That sucks. You didn't live there long enough. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and he's... Does he get? He doesn't. Or they don't. That's my point. Alright, so they're going to take three points of fire damage. Like, ah, watch it, you're going to scuff my coat. Oh, man. Anything else? That's, that's the first amount of damage that Glint that uh, Creature has taken. He has, been, he has been saying something that could help you. Let's see here. Um, Anything for your bonus action? Yeah, I'm trying to see what I can do in a bonus action. Can I grapple him? Not as a bonus action. Uh, now, if you want to retroactively use a bonus action to cast Burning Hands to keep your action. I'll let that occur. Okay. Yeah, I mean, is it? Yeah. So. Right. <laughs> Spend your key points. I mean, your your sorcery points. And go ahead and make me an athletics check. You go to reach out to grab and crochet, but you're still a little clumsy in this flight, and he is able to dodge you with a 22. He doesn't even have that high of acrobatics. I tried. I figured I'd keep it from hitting me, because I don't know if I can take no more than hit. McKetty, you are up. Yeah, I just measured this out. Let's see if I can still do it <laughs> again. Because it it's I gotta move precisely to get this right. <laughs> Like get her, take her down. So I'm gonna move there. That puts me 60 feet away. <laughs> 60 feet. But you are shooting <laughs> through the Ori. She will have uh, half. half how cover. high is this thing? It's the whole thing. It's so huge. Fine, she'll have half cover this time. Oh, I would have given the bag of holding to uh, Mehmet. I would have dropped that. Okay. And I, uh, on her to her, and I was said, "Go help Beery. There's a potion in there." As I flew over here. All right. Uh, um, Roll and she's got whatever, hits. yeah, whatever damage oh, or yeah. cover. I don't use my kinds of chaos. So I'm just I can have them. Nope. I would have given them back to you, but you used your uh, your nothing. Twenty-three for twenty-one. Well, not twenty-one. For eight, eight damage. damage. How do you want to do it? Uh, just panicked. I still have the psychic link up because that's not concentration. <laughs> nope. Uh, 
I would I do what I said. I drop the bag in her lap, fly over as fast as I can, and as I get to the end, uh, I'll as I'll do a little. I'm, I'm gonna psychically tell her it didn't have to be this way. <laughs> do a little somersault, throw my psychic blade out of my foot, uh, and just goes through this twirly globe thingy with just expert precision and just it stabs her in the heart which doesn't actually do anything to it but yeah and she dies all right so you do intend to kill her uh well i don't have a choice i don't think with psychic blades i can't knock her out no you have a choice Uh, okay then i would not kill her okay then I mean, I didn't know I had a choice with Psychic Blades, because it's like, I'm hurting her He's brain. giving you a choice. Yeah, I know, but it's, I don't know, okay. It doesn't make sense, but that's good. All right. <laughs> you did not kill her. Nope. And then I will psychically tell her, uh, him, it, this one. It's done. Really, you should have killed her because the music started back up. That means I'm yeah, dead. no shit. I got it. <laughs> now I'm dead. <laughs> I'm afraid um, that I must follow orders until she is. Man. However, she back. is she is unconscious now. So. Boop. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm at one HP, <laughs> and I just killed her or knocked her out. Knocked so her. guess what? Knocked her out. Don't let that thing get another turn. <laughs> How much HP do you have, Spore Glit? Well. So, you're knocked unconscious. He rolled a natural 20. <laughs> How high up were you? The ceiling. I, the I, was, ceiling. I, was, I was sitting on a rafter. Oh, wow. 60 feet. Did he knock me off the? Did he knock me off the rafter, or am I just down on the rafter? You said you were sitting, right? Yeah. Roll a dexterity saving throw with advantage. I don't really have dexterity, but I'm getting. Hey! <laughs> the rest of you. The rest of you do not see a glint fall from the rafters. <laughs> nice job. Amongst the rafters. Flowers, you're back. Why'd you have to go so far away? Oh, wait, I got hit. Let me see if I got concentration. I'll say. You're unconscious. You're you don't on. There's no concentration. Oh, yeah, rule is funny. <laughs> you really should have saved that for your death save. Um, that was my first one. Skinny Gus, as you, the <laughs> as you come back, you the world kind of... You get sick from the shuffling. <laughs> oh, oh. Because um, he loses concentration on haste yes. from being unconscious. Okay, great. And the combination of that coming back to your plane of, res- of reality mm-hmm. is um, mm-hmm. disorienting. Yeah. Tell me you got something long distance. Yeah, I mean, she's unconscious, but... And Flowers does have something long distance. But would Flowers kill her? Yes, kill her. Kill her. Unfortunately, Flowers wouldn't just kill her. I really can't do anything to wake her up yet. I will bonus action misty step and try that again, see if it works or not. Alright, where do you wish to go? Right next to her. So you would move 30 feet and then misty step the rest of the way? Yep. Alright, it works. Well, that was unexpected. Then I'm going to uh, feed her a potion, if I can. 
Alright. What kind of potion? Just a basic healing potion. Alright. Go ahead and roll 2d4 plus 2. <laughs> well, it healed her. Look. She is conscious again. Unfortunately, I can't use another bonus action, but I will just say to her, submit, aid us, and no more harm will come to you and yours. Uh, roll an intimidation check. It's more of a persuasion, but okay. Sounded like a threat to me. <laughs> a little bit. Anika will dash over to Deary, but that's her action. Deary, I need a death save. Mm-hmm. Two successes, one failure. Gus, you are lethargic. Uh, <laughs> well, I was wise. Alright, I'm going to roll to see how susceptible she is. Really? You're just going to spare me after all of that? Well, it seems our little owl friend wanted that. I told you, we are not your enemy. Alright, fine. Cliché. Stand down, I cease all orders. Can you help my friend up, please? She is rather hurt. I'm afraid that I do not know any healing magic. Uh, well, can she, she, someone feed me a damn can, potion. Can she can, can she do uh, the thing? Uh, that she Anako was... is going to feed you a potion. <laughs> you do not need to make another death saving throw. Uh, let's see, potion, regular potion, regular potion, right? Was what was in the bag? Yeah. Yep. Hey, I rolled double fours. You take ten <laughs> points of healing. Yay! I do apologize. I was merely following orders. You understand, right? Yes, I understand. It is what I do. I have hard time understanding. Uh, Please forgive. Uh, to the lady, learn magic is not really our forte, so we might need your help in finishing up what we need to do on this mountain. Uh, I'm... I guess with you sparing me, you prove your point. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I just... There have been many who have tried to stop my work, and I was afraid that you were one of them. Don't even know what your work is. Don't really care. Uh, she's going to start making her way back to the rest of the group. We all gonna gather at the foot of the stairs? Sorry about your uh, poise. And I'll point to the armor. <laughs> Glint, I need a saving throw. It's, oh, shit. Uh-huh. He didn't fall down. Uh, Only one person knows he's unconscious. However, it will be obvious in a few seconds that Glint yeah. is nowhere to be seen. As, as soon as I realize Glint's not here, I'm going to say, where is fighter you want? And I'm going to go over to Gus, get my potion out of my bag. Alright. I'll need another death saving throw, Glint. I cannot move down. Come Thank on, you. die. Oh. <laughs> die, Glint, die. Why, why is there barriers? I think that there might be barriers for those uh, book bookshelves. Bookshelves? Yeah. My bad. Um, I'm going to say roll a perception check. 
You weren't exactly keeping track of where he was. No, I asked I asked her. And I asked just general, where is Fiery One? Oh, he's around. More specifically, uh, uh, up there somewhere. Okay, then roll perception, perception check. Roll perception check. All right. That's not enough. <laughs> I will say that you see him. Let me measure this out real quick. From you Gus. See him breathe his last breath. How far can you go dashing? 120. What your regular speed is 40, right? Yep. So you'd have to use your action to get to him. Yes. They don't need one more death save. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. You get there just in time to see Glint draw his last breath. I need a D100 from Glint. Please don't kill me. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> 92. I need to pull this up. Damn, I'm getting all the stuff I changed. This is a good day for me. Let's see. That is this one. I need this table. You rolled a 92. I'll say you can roll it again and choose one of the numbers. Which number looks more appealing to you, uh, Glint? Uh, Justin? I like the 90s, I mean, but come on, what am I picking here? Give me yeah, your, form. Your, <laughs> you're picking a number that might relate to something. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys, yeah. let me, I turn to the crowd. What are the numbers you like? Come on, what do you you're, like? Yeah, you've done, you've done 42, 43 before. Yeah, give me 92. I remember right. All right. McKetty, as you get there and see him draw his last breath, he draws a new breath. And you see as all the fire in his body has gone out. As Glint, you're human. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's really not the uh, words people use when they avoid death. I will help him down the best I can. I think, well, I'm going to drink that potion of mine first. I'm going to drink that. Uh, Anako will come and help the both of you down. Or b help well, I, I can get down. As help, I found help you. <laughs> I can... All right. I can so carry some. Say... What did I carry? I kind of look at him as he gets down like, uh, Glint, uh... I can carry look... 180... I can carry 180 pounds. <laughs> uh, Glint, you are at full health. All right. Still a sorcerer, or am I just like a farmer? Yeah, you're still a sorcerer. <laughs> or am I just a farmer? <laughs> Goddamn bookshelves. You you look uh, different. Yeah. Don't feel as hot under the collar, if you will say. Maybe I need a blazer. Yeah, blazer. Um. <laughs> well, so anyway, Glint, your things you don't look, um, well, whatever. Uh, hey, lady. Yes? Uh, told you we were good fighters and that, um, you, know, you should trust us and stuff. So... And I do apologize. Yes. With some As bruises. we were... But I still wish to know how you got here. Uh, some 
strange portal thing. I'm going. I'm going to psychically talk to Amako, Amako for a sec while this conversation is going on. All right. What do you say? I'm going to say, why did you bring us here? I thought the portal was the way through. It was in our way. It was in the path, and I felt like it was right. So you, you don't know this lady. You have no vendetta against her. No. You didn't lie to us to. I did not know. I'm just as confused as you are. Um, inciting. Go ahead and insight with advantage because this is your home. Tr Never mind. <laughs> you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that she is telling the truth. Okay. Pure. You only know be shadow of a doubt because it's a psychic link. Yeah. And it's your home turf, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, we we genuinely thought that this would be uh, the way to the, the portal to the airplane as we suggested we were traveling portal open before us it took us a little ways down and then a, we had to come up here a portal just appeared in front of you that, that is right right it, it just randomly appeared in front of us it appeared to have been there prior to you getting there, but it was in your way. Uh, no, there, there was a, it was all, it was just there. It didn't appear. It was, it was there. We were heading in a direction that we were, that, and then Portal was there, so we just assumed that it was this way. It looked, well, honestly, we couldn't make heads or tails of it, but we knew we weren't near Air Temple, so we thought the portal might take us there. But the only other person that knew where my home was was, and she looks to Uncriche. The Windwider? As Uncriche stabs her in the throat. Ooh. That's this lady? Yeah. Bird. Bird stabs lady. Um, I use my reaction. If you allow to it. To swap places? Swap places. I would say I would need an initiative check. Okay. To see if you can beat. Okay, initiative. <sighs> It was a 17 on the die. They have a plus four. Okay. Okay. I attempt to swap places. And as you swap places, you feel her body start being lifeless, start going cold in your arms. Does anybody have a potion left? I really I hope that you would kill her, but I guess not. Guess I just have to do it myself. Kind of starts wiping the blade. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, you know, you really should talk to people like you want to. I that tried to mistake. Talk. We tried talking. Do you not want to know why you're here? Who sent you? I know you sent us. Oh no, it wasn't me. It was my queen. That is correct. As a new woman appears. Aw oh, man. So why did you kill her? Not talking to her, don't care about her. Because it was my job to kill her. No, why did you kill me? Oh, kill you? Because she told me to. Points to the dead lady. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. You understand this. Well, no, I was under orders from her. But luckily, you were able to convince her to release the orders from me, leaving me to do my job. It's a bit complicated. Uh, fake business. But... Yes, my business. But a a woman appears at the 
top of the stairs. Yeah, dressed all, her definitely. Dressed all in white. <laughs> Very fair skin. I was the one who sent Uncriche, and I was the one who made the portal for all of you. I was also the one responsible for the blizzard to push you closer. Wait, the blizzard that almost killed me? Yes. Then you're responsible for the one to pay us. Pony up, million gold each. Well, I do intend to pay you. Why this did she do that? She was planning on betraying me. And why would she want to do that? Who are you? McKetty, roll an insight check. Sure thing. Come on, another net 20. Close enough. As you say, who are you? There's this pit in your stomach as you answer your own question. You know this to be the queen of air and darkness. Queen of air and darkness? Correct. The Fey Queen of the Unseely Court. Yeah. And I do plan on repaying you, of course, by helping you complete the mission that you did set out to do. And she kind of points over to an area and you see a kind of ripple in the air and a, and a gust of wind starts blowing out of it. And Deary and Amiko both get this feeling of home kind of drifting through. Both recognizing it as the plane of air. You hear Deary squawk like excited. That is for Aniko, and for those of you who wish to refuse the next offer I have. You see, this was a trial, so to speak. I wanted to see what you were made of. And while you're less lethal than I would like, I think we can fix that. But if you're interested, points to another area and a different portal will open. And this time a blast of cold wind will kind of seep through. And Maketi, you would feel the presence of the Feywild through there. Then join me for another job where you will be rewarded most handsomely. How are we supposed to join you for another job if we got to go to the other area to get paid for the first job? I have a third option available. What is that? I'm just going to walk to the front doors and uh, use my wandering weasel key. <laughs> <laughs> you. So it was frozen over, but as you place the key to the lock, the ice melts away, letting it pass through, and you're able to open the door. Uh, hello and welcome to the Wandering Weasel. As the sound of music and merriment fills through the front door. So how's everything going in the bar? How's the child? Oh, most excellent. She's sleeping. So, young guy, how profitable are these jobs you got for us? Quite profitable. I, do, I am between jobs right now. You, you have heard of me, right? I'm Glint, formerly of the uh, Fire Genasi, but now I'm just a human. 
I have heard of you, and if you want, we could help you along with that transformation of yours. I'm afraid not quite to your former fiery glory, but we can give you some semblance back. Monica, what are your offering? I'm just going home to my family to ensure that the airplane is safe. Um, I asked Anika if I can join her. Of course, you are all welcome to join me. I can't offer much, but I can offer um, a place of stay, assuming that things are stable. I I t I can take care of myself, but I believe airplane is home. It is. It seems we are going to go separate ways now. So, looking to everybody else, it's still here. So, or not coming with me to the to the Feywild. <laughs> so. Should we meet again? We, we will have met again. <laughs> well, on, when Annika says she can't offer much, that kind of makes up the time. So, young Kai, ah, you need the services of the world's greatest sorcerer? And he'll walk, walk over towards the portal. You're going to... Which one? The Feywild or the airplane? Feywild. Then you'd be going with Maketi. Yep. Okay. But I want to be the last one to go through the portal. Alright. And uh, what of you, Skinny Gus? Well... Where will you go? I have this head that I need to throw into the mud. That would be the airplane, or at least somewhere near it. If you wish to ensure that that got to the plane of Earth, you need simply but drop it in the airplane. Huh. I've thought of that. I take the head and I throw it through the portal. All right, it starts falling. It'll yeah. be falling for a while. That's good enough for me. Um, I look over to the portal for the Feywild. That looks interesting. And I look back at Flowers at the Wandering Weasel. And I say, Flowers, do I annoy you? Yes, you know me. No, no, no. Do I annoy you? No, you annoy of course me. not. Hmm. You do annoy me from time to time. Yeah, I knew oh, that. Interesting and unpredictable. Well, that's good. Mind if I come with you for a while? Absolutely. I have to take care of this child right now, Lou. I would gladly. Ah, uh, yeah. The little kid that almost killed me? Yeah. I know what the am, but. <laughs> oh, McKetty. Um. Carry oh. this or not, but maybe Glenn can. I mean, he's. I, I can. It's just difficult to fly with it. Yeah, sorry. Thank you that. for thank you for holding it for me. You're welcome. Thanks for um. I don't know things. I roll away. Glenn, before he walks out of there, he'll go and loot the 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 one lady that was just stabbed. And Crusader just looks. He just like. See, you wanted the killer anyway. <laughs> I don't know what you're so upset about. I didn't. I, d I don't mind killing her. I just don't know why she's dead. We just told you why. She was going to betray my queen. My queen yes. ordered me to kill her. But, you know, how? Why? How, why, what? Was she going to do this? Oh, this thing. She. He gestures 
over to the big Ori that's uh, yeah, the thing, yeah. And she was researching into magic about ascending to godhood and stuff. We can't have that. Oh, speaking of which, he pulls out an alchemist fire and tosses it up into it. There we go. Well done, cliche. Your next assignment is in Bryn Shander. Oh, fun, that's where I'm going. And you'll all see uh, the Ice Queen hand something to Uncreche. Uh, anyone who wants to know what it looks like can roll a perception check. Yeah, Glint's looking because he wants to see what type of rewards he could be looking forward to. Alright. Deary <laughs> and McKetty. I mean, not McKetty. No, yes, McKetty. Deary and McKetty. Yes, those are the two that got <laughs> the highest. You see her hand her hand them a, a what looks like an earring but it's kind of large but it looks frozen over you know what to do with this and then crochet will give a bow and start walking away off I go da, 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 da. No secret missions, my queen. Well, secret, but no secret missions for me. Like, I know what my mission is. I will like, tell you more in court. If you would follow me, the... The woods of the Feywild can be dangerous at night. But they will not bother you while I am around. And she will step through the Feywild portal. Um, Deary, it's time that we should go as well. I'll, okay. I'll follow. Right. McKenny goes through the Feywild portal. Anako and Deary head through the Plain of Air portal. Glint, just before he goes through the Feywild portal, we'll cast uh, Create Bonfire on the bookshelf, just so these books go up. All right. Helping Uncriche's mission because he he did essentially throw a Molotov. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he was throwing it up up at the the Dialus, right? Yeah, he did specifically yeah. want to destroy this, but yeah, you're destroying yeah. the knowledge. Yeah. But all right. And the party all heads their separate ways, onto other adventures. And that is where we will end the story for tonight.